Namaste everyone and thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you the steps you can use for deploying a Flask application on a Kubernetes cluster. Besides that, we will also deploy a load balancer for the application. Now the steps that you have to perform for doing it is, uh, you know, are as follows. So once you're done with installing Docker, Kubernetes, Minikube and Kubectl on your respective device, uh, you can follow the steps which are given on this page from this point. Okay, so you have to create four different files first. The first file is app.py which you have to create. Okay, let me just show you all the four files which you have to create first and after that I'm going to show you the steps you can use for creating them. So app.py is the one in which your application code will come. Then deployment is uh, deployment.yaml file is the one in which your load balancers code and you know the, all the yaml file configuration will come then docker file is for uh, create for creating the ports and services and you know installing the packages on the container and then requirements is for uh, the uh, you know the application the libraries required for running this application so basically it's a flask application and it's a very basic application which doesn't require anything else except flask so the only thing which is written in this text document is flask right now okay so once you're done with creating these four files what you have to do next let me just show you that and also i would like to show you the content i've put in these four files so in app.py i have put these uh, you know 10 lines of code okay then I ran the application using this command and I found it running on the local host machine of mine. Fine, I created a requirements.txt file in which I, uh, you know, mentioned Flask. Then Docker file is the one in which I put these six commands, six lines of code. So the, because it's a Python application and uh, I need to install the requirements also. So these are the various things I've mentioned here in the Docker file, right? Then for building the image, I have used this command. But you know, when I was using this command, I was not able to build the image. So let me just show you the exact command, you know, which I used for creating the image and all. So this is the one, right? So Docker build dash t flask Kubernetes dot when I use this one which is mentioned on the page so I uh, got this error right so what I did for resolving the issue let me just show you that uh, this is the one you know which I used fine so what's the difference let me just find the difference I am not able to see the difference I, I, I think I typed it uh, you know I typed it manually when I was not able to uh, achieve the result by copying and pasting the commands. So that's what I did for creating the image and finally I was able to successfully create the images. Okay, let me just show you the images before we move to the next step. So with that I'll have to open a command prompt and then over there I'll show you the images. So, so basically it's a load balancer which is running on my device right now and that's the reason you know it's a bit slow my system is running a bit slow because of that uh, the docker images if I will type here you will get to see the images which you know that command has created for me and here also if I, I think it uh, this docker environment I'll be able to show you the images Give me a moment. Okay, so, you know, this is the one which, uh, you know, got created flask dash Kubernetes. And then the next command which I uh, you know used is I created a deployment using the deployment.yaml file fine and what's the command that I used for doing it so the one which is mentioned on this page didn't work for me 
So what I did, I used my own command, which is kubectl create dash f deployment dot yaml. So instead of apply, it is create that I have used. Let me show that to you. So this is the one which I used with dash f with uh, you know apply. It was not uh, giving me the required result, so that's the reason I used create instead of apply. Okay, finally, we got the name of the image. This is the one, right? And uh, the command prompt also. Now, what's the next thing which I did? Let me show you that. So, after that, I started my mini cube service. Okay, and then mini cube service, you can simply write mini cube start over here. Fine. Uh, this is the one which I fired in command prompt like this and I was uh, you know able to start mini cube and kubernetes then I used cube cuttle get pods to, to check out the you know, pods which got created then finally I used mini cube dashboard for pulling the records for, for checking the status in the dashboard of mini cube fine so let me just show you what I exactly got from here so if you will click deployments, you'll see five different images with name flask test or something like that over here because you know as I've told you it's a load balancer which is actually balancing uh, which is uh, which we have deployed here and it's going to it is going to take care of uh, the traffic routing of traffic for these five nodes. Uh, it's taking a bit of time why because uh, the process is really heavy fine no problem uh, let let it just load by the time it is loading let me show you the application so you know once uh, you're done with firing all these commands over here you'll be able to access the application on your local machine like this so 5000 is the port on which flask application can be accessed and as you can see the application the server of the flask server is not running anywhere right uh, why i'm able to uh, pull the uh, you know flask application in the browser it's because of the images which uh, we have created and it's because of the uh, you know containers that are running at the back end on docker and kubernetes cluster uh, you know these are some of the things because of which we are able to pull the flask application on our devices so on our on my device right so this is what i wanted to show uh, you guys and you know whatever steps uh, are given on the web page okay they are almost correct but there are some issues with uh, you know two to three steps so i've already told you what you have to do to resolve the issues you guys can follow the steps which i've showed in this video to you and you can also deploy a flask application on your kubernetes cluster so this is it from my side in this lecture i hope you guys enjoyed it bye bye take care and have a great great day ahead guys